Hi everyone, happy new release day. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball. 10 box, pick your team number one. All cards ship, look at that. A lot of variations here, so all cards will ship. Just in the, oh, let me show you who picked their teams right here. Thanks everybody who picked their teams. Brand new release day on a Wednesday. If you see the little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in a team random. There you go. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. Brand new release. We've got a couple more cases in the store. And uh, Jason has personals of these on jaspies.com as well. Let me drop the link for that. That's only on Instagram Live, at Jaspies Breaks. So if you're like, if you're thinking... Uh, Joe, I wanted to be in this break, but missed out on Pick Your Team 1. Well, you can snag a personal box with Jason while you're waiting. Or you can sit back and hang out and watch this break as well. Alright, so there's five boxes on the right side, five boxes on the left side to make ten. Now, just in the interest of time, I'm only going to pull the sort of obvious variations as much as I can, the obvious variations. So we're going to try to move as quickly as possible on this. There will be a uh, hit recap video at the end of this, so if you're watching the replay, of this, feel free to fast forward through towards the end and you'll see me do a little recap. For those of you watching live, hang out, get comfortable. Oh, let me drop a, uh, let me drop a variation guide here. Good luck, everybody. Are they really, Sean? Is that actually is that actually been reported officially, or is that just rumors? We want to avoid rumors. We want confirmations. Uh, JMV, what's up? How are you? Is there a lot of static on these? These are like, yeah. My hands are just too electric, ladies and gentlemen. Hands are just hands are too electric. generating too much energy with these packs here. I'm not sure what's happening. An electricity in the air, boys and girls. Brand new Gypsy Queen just dropped today. Variation guide in the chat. In fact, I'm going to pop that open on my page right here. So we're looking for, I think the easy, the ones, the most easiest to spot would be if there's no name right here. Maybe that variation right here, where that swapped with the uh, with the Gypsy Queen picture instead of just the GQ. But we'll try to spot as many of those as possible. Like the Wheel of Fortune tarot cards here are pretty neat. And remember, all cards ship. So if I miss a variation, don't worry. Everything's going to go to you anyway. All right, that is Brock Burke, by the way, to 150. That goes to Logan and the Rangers. 
We'll get all that top loaded before it goes out. Fortune teller, die cut. I think some of these can be can be uh, autographed as well, which I think is pretty cool. And our first autograph is Christian Yelich. Wow. That's a great way to start. Uh, Eric J. and the Brew Crew with the Yelly. 20 out of 50. Usually it's in color, so this must be black and white. I'm not sure if that, there's a specific name for it, but that's what it looks like. There you go. Very nice. On card as well. Strong start. I like these sort of playing card, playing card design here too. Well, we've got another autograph here, and it's Isan Diaz, rookie auto for Sam. Got the Marlins in a team random, Sam Strayer. Gets an autograph. A pretty decent debut last year. Could be part of the new Marlins youth movement. Oh, there's a no name right here. So this no name short print, which is, I don't know how short printed this is. Do I have odds here? Logo swap, missing nameplate. About one out of every 23 packs. So maybe roughly one per, how many packs are in here? One per box, maybe one every other box. 24 packs per box, so about one per box is the expectation. So that's for Tampa Bay. That'll be for Matt Gomes. Half the fun is figuring out all these, uh, figuring out all these variations. Let's see if let's see if we can spot any of those bazooka the bazooka backs. I think are really short printed. All right. There's Austin Meadows blue to two hundred and fifty. That'll be for Matt and the Rays. And another Yelich? What's going on here? That's a Players Weekend card. Nice. Eric with the Brew Crew. It's Players Weekend, Yelich. How common or not are those? That's just a variation. It doesn't necessarily say. No, Players Weekend is one out of every 150 packs, according to CardboardConnection.com. Nice. You got the Yelich autograph and the Players Weekend variation. And this 
has the Gypsy Queen lady right there instead of the GQ logo. And the logo swaps are about one out of every 31 packs. And for the higher numbered short prints, which I think are num card numbers 301 and up, those are even more rare. One out of every 1,200 packs if it's, uh, if it's one of those high numbers. So there you go. Oh, the box topper. Paul Tate saying, what up, Paul? Saying uh, the black and white variations are numbered to 50, including base cards too. So we can look out for those as well. There's DJ LeMayhew, Gary Sanchez, and Aaron Nola. Forty-four out of fifty on that Gary Sanchez. That's for the Yankees. That's for Scott Goodman. All right, that was box one. Onwards, box two. And ladies and gentlemen, um, this break is going to take a while. So once again, here's the variation guide if you want to follow along with me at home. Um, Jason Jaspi is live with personal boxes of Gypsy Queen. So if you want to visit our Instagram stream, you can check that out. We're selling individual boxes of this on jaspies.com. So check it out. If you're like, oh, I missed out on Pick Your Team 1, Joe. Can I, how else can I get in? It would be personal boxes. Two autos per box on this stuff. I think there's books in here too. So there's some book opportunities as well, which are going to be pretty exciting. There will be an autograph recap at the end of this, and or auto and you know short prints or whatever we can find recaps out of this. So keep that in mind. You want to go run, do an errand, do a chore around the house, and come back a little bit later. All right, box two. Good luck. We got Nixon Zell. Nice. To 150. That's going to be for Scott Goodman and the Reds. I want to find one of those bazooka back cards. I think those look really cool. Not sure that border just looks a little bit different. Maybe those are for the rookie cards. No, I think they are. Yeah. 
There are those black and whites that Paul was talking about, 45 out of 50. Anthony Stantner for Mark and the O's, Mark L and the Orioles. And we've got Dustin May. Nice rookie autograph for Anthony and the Dodgers. Nice. I mean, Dustin May, Walker Bueller, and that's, that's the Julio Urias, too. That could be the future of that Dodgers rotation right there. Pretty exciting. And we've got Carter Keyboom. I like the design this year. Mark with the Nats. Nice autograph. Huron, what's going on? Your break was a while? What do you mean? Not sure what break you're in. There's the no name. Which I think generally falls about one per box. I'm trying to see if I can catch any of the bazooka backs. Which I think are pretty short printed. Are we holding our breath on that? Yeah, it's one of the tougher ones. One out of every 61 packs for those bazooka back cards. Oh, like you haven't been here for a while. Well, welcome back. Always welcome back. All right. Next box. Oh, box topper. How about some box toppers? Let's do that first. Oh, that's off camera. Let's leave that right there. Ryan. Bo Bichette, nice, to 150. Blue Jays, Richard Zitterman. And then we've got Walker Bueller and Marcus Simeon. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, all cards ship. So if you get into any of the pick your team action, just know that everything ships. So in case I miss like a variation or something, don't panic. It'll go. It'll ship. There you go, Big River. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get get the Marlins. Finish off that Isan Diaz set. I like I like Isan Diaz. I feel like I, I picked him up for a couple weeks in my fantasy league last year. He offered some decent decent production for a little bit. So he's definitely got some upside. I mean, the Marlins... You know, it's kind of like, uh, I mean, they're rebuilding from scratch, but they're, they're, they're gathering all sorts of young players and prospects and a lot of young players giving the opportunity to play. So they might have a decent team before you know it. Oh, no. Sorry, guys.
card's a little slippery. And these packs are a little staticky. All sorts of things happening here. All right. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. There's Yohan Mankata to 250. What up, Adam? For some reason, I always associate Gypsy Queen and Alan the Ginter together. You're not wrong. They're very, they're very similar. This is basically Alan and Ginter, but just strictly baseball. You know, there's no like animal cards in here or anything like that. Uh, I don't know how much the Marlins cost off the top of my head. I don't think too much. Does anyone remember the Marlins price in Inception off the top of their head if they've purchased it recently? All right, there's Shed Long with the uh, logo swap. That'll be for Fred O and the Mariners. There you go. That sounds right. Nick Galvin saying twenty four ninety nine. That sounds about right. And there's Mike Fulton Evitz. Nice autograph there. Love that these are on card. Makes it look really nice. Austin Caruso with the Atlanta Braves. That must be some kind of variation. James Paxson to 150 for the Yankees. No name on this one. Missing name variation. Padres, Todd Greenwald with the Michael Baez. And we got Lance McCullers. Did we get three autographs in there? No, I don't think this is our second autograph. All right. oh, we got a, maybe got a bonus auto, but that's uh, Lance McCullers for the Strohs. That's going to go to Logan. Next box. Oh, let's keep forgetting about these guys here. There's Anthony Rizzo to 99. All right, 
the next box. I may need to pick up the pace here a little bit. Good luck, everybody. Bear with me. This might take a little bit longer than I originally thought. Kind of hard to open. Maybe they have a little extra glue on them. Sack Granky. That's 250. Trevor Story. Trevor Story is a 250 for the Rockies. That's going to go to John G. First autograph out of here is Shed Long for the Mariners. That's going to go to Fred O. That's always the plan, Big River. Pull people stuff. Good luck. And we've got a nice Keston Hero autograph. Wow, what a break for the Brewers this early on. Got the Yelich in the first box, and now Keston Hira in one of these later boxes here. Eric J with the Brew Crew. All right, this no name is for Mark with the Orioles. Another Anthony Stantner. All right. Let's 
Those are old as Chapman, 99. And Whit Merrifield. All right, next one. Well, hang in there, Big River. I know that's happening all over the place. Just uh, just get all the essentials take care taken care of first, and then come and hang out with Jaspies. I guess that big uh, big stimulus package went through yesterday, so hopefully that'll help some of you out. Based off of your 2018 tax returns, from what I understand. I think that stimulus checks are supposed to supposed to get to you. Sometime in April, from what I understand. So hopefully that'll be a big help for a lot of you. Especially if you're in the travel or service industry. It's a little early for that, Sean. Although no one's probably paying attention in the middle of this Gypsy Queen break. Everyone else has probably ditched me, Sean Corbett. They're just like, oh, Joe's doing a recap? Peace out. I'm going to do something else for the next hour and a half, and I'll come back and <laughs> just watch the recap. Oh, Arthur's here. Derek's here. Okay, okay. There's some people. Some people around. All right, that's Hunter Dozier for the Royals. Kyle Armstrong with the logo swap. And we got a Cunha Jr. logo swap. Braves, Austin. Caruso with that logo swap. Nice. Kershaw, blue to 250 for the Dodgers. Really want to find one of those bazooka backs. I know they're not super common. Maybe if, if I miss one, don't worry. Our shipping team will... Uh, everything ships, so you're going to get everything you see here, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got... Alex Young for AP. Arthur's in the house, too. Arthur and his Diamondbacks. What, what team do you have, Rebel? EJC? Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people underselling some cards on the bay, but if you have the means, probably a good time to take advantage of that. Oh, right, the Hunter Dozier. You got the Royal. That's right, Kyle. A little something there.
Wilson Ramos uh, for Kevin and the Mets. Teddy, you should join our uh, buy sell trade chat group. We want to contain all of the all of that sort of chatter in there. I'll approve everyone to that group later tonight if you join, ladies and gentlemen. It keeps just keeps the chat clean of buy sell stuff. Otherwise, everyone will be talking to them. All right, and we got another Dustin May. Is that a logo swap, Dustin May, or did the other one look? That's the second one, Anthony. Yeah, it's a logo swap. That one has the GQ, and that one has the, the Gypsy Queen lady on there. One out of 99. Nice. Verlander, Jacob deGrom to 150, and Mookie Betts. Next box. Make myself a little room here. Is Cole Calhoun on this checklist? I forgot that he went went to the Diamondbacks. Will that rookie go to Dodgers or Red Sox? Which rookie, Teddy? Oh, you're, are you talking about that Mookie? That'll go to the Red Sox. It goes to the team uh, that's on the cart, obviously. It'd be kind of a nightmare if we had to, <laughs> if we had to keep track of every single trade on the checklist. Especially with older product, if we ever break older product, be a nightmare. You have to memorize every transaction and all that. It'd just be crazy. Now it goes to the team that's on the on the card. I think the only time. And this is, it doesn't happen too often. The only time it would go to a current team or whatever is if uh, is if we were doing like collegiate product, and they're all in their collegiate gear, and if if there was no checklist a attaching them to a pro team, then in that case, if they're an active player, to go to the team they're currently on. So we're not going to run into that in this product. All right, next box. We're cruising. We're moving. Grooving. Just Jordan Yamamoto to 250. I'm trying to pick up the pace on this just a tiny bit, folks, just so this break doesn't get too long. I still want to find that bazooka back, though.
Yes, Teddy. You, you, your ears are not deceiving you. Your eyes are not deceiving you. On the title, it says all cards ship. That, in, that means all cards. And there's a Michael Chavis for Teddy. How, that's you, Teddy. And the Red Sox. There you go, black and white as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we're not lying to you, Teddy, when it says all card ship in the title. No asterisks, no qualif no qualifiers. There's Bo Bichette to 250. All right, there's the Garrett Cole black and white to 50. That's for Scott and the Yankees. This fortune teller card, I, I really like this parallel set right here. I like this fortune teller set. Bo Bichette for Richard Z and the Blue Jays. There's Adalberto Mondesi, no name. That's for Kyle. It's Rebel in the chat. Charlie Blackman flipped around. I'm assuming it's some kind of variation. Is that Players Weekend, maybe? John with the Rockies. Got the Rockies in that team random. Yeah, Rebel starting to like the Gypsy Queen. It helps when uh, it helps when you when you're when you're hitting a little bit. There's Jordan Yamamoto autograph. Rookie auto for Sam Strayer and the Marlins. Got the Marlins in the team random. Was not happy about it, but still got a couple autos out of it. I don't think any player can have a bazooka back. Or maybe they can. I don't know. Paul Hutchins with the Phillies gets the logo swap, Reese Hoskins. There's Raphael Devers, Chrome. There's Michael Chavis to 99. And we've got a Fran Mill Reyes. Four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Can I just tear this open? Yeah, all right. All right. Good luck, everyone. We're almost there. We're getting there. It's going to take some time, maybe a little bit more than I originally thought. But bear with me, folks. We're, we'll, we'll get through this together. We'll get through this break together. We'll get through this COVID crisis together. Keep calm and jaspy on.
Sean, you can confirm that a confirm huge player no bazooka back? What does that mean? Is there a list of is there a list somewhere with the bazooka backs? I don't see it on cardboardconnection.com yet. Just cardboardconnection.com states third parallel is the toughest at one out of every 61 packs. This is the bazooka back parallels. Or one out of 1,817 packs for the short print. The bazooka backs feature a full gum ad on the back in place of the standard card back. I don't know. I mean, it just came out today, so maybe we'll we'll get some more information as this goes on. Hi, Rich. There should be another NT Collegiate after break 36. Which I think I think we're we're running a little late according to that schedule, folks, but but that is coming up after this. There is for the Cardinals for Kevin, Austin Dean to two fifty. And there is, wow, nice Nick Senzel autograph for the Red Legs. Scott Goodman got the Reds in that random. I think Reds are one of the more expensive teams. I think Dodgers are up there too. I think someone asked which were the expensive teams. All right, and of course, since all cards ship in this, ladies and gentlemen, this might take maybe an extra day or so for us to get all this sorted and packed up and shipped out. So be a little patient with us on, on the shipping for this. It may take a little bit longer from what you would normally expect from Jaspies. Paul Goldschmidt, Cardinals, will be for Kevin. No name. Variation. Trying to see if I can catch a bazooka back. Have not. That's to 150 is Rubel Cabrera. And six out of 75. Trevor Bauer, Cleveland edition. Theoden, who got randomized the Indians, gets the Trevor Bauer. Six out of 75. Still Indians edition on this one. 
Nice. Oh, and he's wearing 42. That's the Jackie Robinson variation as well. The Jackie Robinson ones are a little bit harder to spot. Because, you know, sometimes the, their numbers are on the back of their jerseys and everything. But all card shipped, so be sure to keep the... Uh, just keep an eye on the the there's codes on the back and the Jackie Robinson code ends in 087 what's this right here oh is this flipped around ah oh, that's the 250 Cody Bellinger tarot card that'll be for my Dodgers Anthony has my Dodgers there's Charlie Blackman there is out of 150 Juan Soto for Mark Altuve. Three boxes to go. Almost there. Stay on target. been a minute or two since I've done a break this long with this many cards. This is one of Jaspi's sort of minor, this is a very minor inconvenience, but the minor inconvenience with all this social distancing and and uh, and whatnot. I don't have Nick's help ripping open these packs for me. Big River says, my friends find it weird that you collect Marlins even though you're a Twins fan. Why do you collect Marlins? Is there a reason? I don't know. So yeah, sometimes sometimes people like specific players. But like I always like to say, like I always like to say, there's no right or wrong way to collect. Collect what you like. All right, good luck. Just a few boxes to go. We're almost there. No name, Cubbies. That's going to go to Paul Hutchins, who got randomized the Cubs in the team random. Kyle Hendricks. JMV, why, why in the world are the Cardinals so expensive in NT football? Have you been gone that long? Yeah, did you miss all of last season? You must have missed the 2019 football season. And the 2019 NFL Draft. Did you miss the entire season last year? Paul DeYoung. 
Cardinals. That goes to Kevin S. Eighty-five out of ninety-nine. Gypsy Queen logo variation as well. You, I guess you did, JMV. I guess you missed the draft where Kyler Murray was the number one overall pick. I guess you missed the part where he won Offensive Rookie of the Year, and actually looked pretty decent for the Cardinals. That's, I mean, that's why he won Rookie of the Year. Chance Cisco, of course, will go to Mark L. That's out of 250. Oh, you moved across the country, so that means the Cardinals, Arizona football cards just don't exist. That's classic East Coast bias, ladies and gentlemen. Corey Dickerson, Phillies autograph. That goes to Paul Hutchins. Got the Phillies straight up. Big River still can't believe uh, DeAndre Hopkins is an Arizona football cardinal. Yeah, I was a little surprised by that too. Especially considering what little the Cardinals had to give up. Especially compared to what the what the Bills gave up to get Stephon Diggs. There's Junior Fernandez to 50 for the Cardinals. That'll be for Kevin. Two boxes to go. Almost there. Almost there. We've got another 20 minutes or so. There's Bo Bichette to 99. Nice one for the Blue Jays, Richard Z. Well, it should be one of the bigger rookie names this year. Along with that kid, too, for the Reds. All right, good luck, ladies and gents. Uh, just again, it just as a as a quick note, Jason Jaspi, if you're like Joe and. I don't really feel like watching the rest of this, but I do want to do something. You can go check out Personal Breaks on our Instagram stream. And you can get a box of Gypsy Queen yourself if you'd like. Or you can head over to jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's where all the group breaks live. And uh, you can get into the action there. Get into some more Gypsy Queen tonight. I don't think we I don't think we got too many of these cases, boys and girls, so get into it while supplies last. And we're getting close to finishing. Nicholas Galvin is right. We're getting close to finishing. So probably time to start thinking about what we should finish off next. Nick Galvin saying Reds, Royals, Twins, Nationals left in Topps Inception. Pick your team. 
two left in the random, eight left in five star, ten left in Gypsy Queen two. Woo! That sounds like a good baseball evening ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm okay with that. There's Otani to 150 for the Halos. Richard Zitterman with the Angels. And there's the babe. That's for the Yankees, Scott Goodman with the uh, logo swap. And that's a that's a high number. Uh, yeah, that's a base short print. Cards three hundred one and up, three hundred one to three twenty are the base short prints. All card ships, so you'll be you'll be getting everything. So if I miss any of those base short prints, you will be getting them. No name, Theoden, with the Carlos Santana. Carter Keyboom to 250. That's for Mark L and the Nats. And the autograph is Matt Beatty. For the Dodgers. Pretty solid role player there, Anthony. There you go. Anthony picked up my Dodgers straight up. Can I go through these already? And looks like our second autograph out of this box is Jesus Lazardo. Joe Drobeck with the A's. A's have a group of underrated youngsters, I think, on that on that team. Which could be a nice buy low, sell high situation. Alright, last box coming up. Alright, there's Kettle Marte. Fran Mill Reyes to 150 and Trey Mancini. And we made it, ladies and gentlemen. Last box. No bazooka yet, Rich, or at least not that I've noticed. There's a possibility that just in kind of hustling through this break so it doesn't take two hours, you may have missed it. But all card shit. So if you end up with a bazooka back, ladies and gentlemen, 
definitely let me know. The the shipping team, I think when they're sorting sorting cards, the shipping team goes by the back of the card because the logos are easier to spot. So I'll have them keep an eye out for uh, for those bazooka back cards as well. And I'll make sure those are sleeved and top loaded. Any huge autos out of this? I don't know. I'm going to do, do a recap after this, Rich. Um, no Bo Bichette. Couple Dustin Mays. No Gavin Lux. Was there an Aquino autograph in here? Or was there just a short print? That I don't remember. I don't know. We're gonna, we'll, we'll do the recap. We're going to find out in a second. Book, no books either. I wish there was a book. I remember, I mean, we don't generally do too much Gypsy Queen on the website in traditionally in previous years. But I think we did a handful of cases last year. Maybe five or maybe four or five, six cases last year. I think only one book out of there. Oh, right, right, right. Sean's right. Christian Yelich was our first black and white Christian Yelich autograph, and we did have a Kestin Hero autograph. All right, so that's a, that's a pretty solid case, I think. A little, little long break, but a pretty solid case. Sean says, just finished The Farewell, and he thinks Aquafina deserves a little credit, even though she was only a comedian. She was a comedian, only a comedian in the movie? Or a comedian in a movie with no previous acting experience. I don't know what her history is. All right. Thank you and good luck. We try to catch as many of these parallels as possible. Remember, there are these little codes on the bottom of the card, and on the back, you'll be able to see if, like, actually, you can see the number there, but let's say, for example, like this. You don't know if that's 42 on the back or not. That could be a Jackie Robinson variation. But if you look on the bottom right here, the code on this is the, it ends in 42. That's just a regular base. The Jackie Robinson variation will end in 87. Although it should end in 4 2. So just FYI. That's the uh, Players Weekend variation, I believe. That'll go to Austin and the Braves. Oh, I see, I see, I see what you're saying, Sean. Sean thought maybe Aquafina could only do big comedy roles, but you're saying that in The Farewell, she adds a, another layer to her, her acting chops. Fair enough. I heard that was a good movie. Not seen it though. I want to see it. Maybe I'll get around to it. Those no name variations are easier to spot. And that uh, Jake Fraley will go to the Mariners, Fred O. And we've got an Adbert Alzale rookie autograph. Could be a big pitching prospect for the Cubs. He's got a pretty live arm, too. That goes to Paul Hutchins, who got the Cubs in that team random. Nice, Paul. We got Ron Hell Ravello to one fifty for the Cardinals, Kevin. And 
Javier Baez there for the Cubs. That'll be for Paul as well to 250. And the second and final auto of Pick Your Team 1, second in the box, final one in the case, is going to be Bobby Bradley for the Tribe. Theoden with the Indians. Now, there still could be some fun parallels here, so stick with me here just for a little bit. Maybe not. Remember, all cards ship. No, it looks like that's it. All cards ship. And again, be sure to double check the numbers on the back when you get these cards because there may be some variations that are just hard to spot, and the only way you can spot them is just by that code. Cardboardconnection.com is a great resource for that. So check that out. I'll drop the link in the chat in a little bit. Tatis Jr. to 150. Second year Tatis Jr. Or this is 2020. There's Will Smith and there's Austin Meadows to close things out. Pretty solid break, folks. Here's autographs and some of the shorter printed variations that we were able to easily spot. We'll go from the last box to the most recent box. That Babe Ruth was a nice short print. Senzel, Yamamoto, there's Michael Chavis, black and white. A couple Dustin Mays in this too. There's that Keston Hira. Keyboom. And that Yelich. We started off with the Yelich, which is pretty strong. 20 out of 50. And there you go. Pick your team number one in the books. Brand new 2020 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball. I'm Joe from jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.